so now I've turned on my electronics on this forever piece and I'm doing a tuck stitch pattern and all these needle selections all of this can be done manually but why whenever you have a machine it'll do it so I'm gonna try to do it without bumping this camera too much see how pretty this particular pattern is. Let me see if I can get the show. See down here? That's the tuck stitch I'm doing. I think it's pretty. Now the problem is going to be tuck stitch is going to, when it comes off the machine, it's going to, going to shrink. So this part of this uh, piece that I'm doing in tuck stitch is going to be more narrow. I don't know by what degree, it probably depends on which tuck stitch it is, um, but it's going to be more narrow than these other uh, passes that I did that are almost completely stockinette. But again, it's a prototype, it's a practice piece, it's a piece I'm learning a lot of things on, so it's okay. So just in case you're not noticing, like here, Needle 30 and 32 is back in the B position. And the, the rest of the needles, um, I'm sorry, 29 and 31 are in the B position. 30 is up in the D position. This is like forward working position, these needles here. Here it's 40 and 41 in B and the rest of them up in D. And when I take this over, I don't know if they'll still be there or not, depends. Okay, so they did knit back. So you can see um, there's like about four stitches on this needle. That's why it's so thick. Whereas the stitch right beside it has, the needle right beside it has only one stitch on it. These are the ones that are tucked. But now, um, like, it's gonna, my next pass will probably pull, we're, we're looking at, like this 30, 31, 32 area. Let's see what happens with the next pass. Um, maybe the machine's done tucking, we'll pull those back into the B position, we'll see. Whoa, sorry about that. My whole table moved. See now, every needle now has just one stitch on it because it has finished that tuck procedure. And now you can see it's tucking on needle 36, needle 26, needle 16, needle 46 is tucked. That being that there's more than one stitch, it's not stitching them through. But I also see some multiple stitches on, on these needles as well. I don't fully understand tuck because I've never done it manually. Well, actually, yes, I have. I've done that scalloped edge tuck manually. Um, but this is a fairly complicated pattern to do tuck manually on. And I did it again. I should know better than let let it touch the table that the camera's on. I'll work. Now you see the pattern is finished now. That's what that beep was about. Let me know. I went ran through the entire tuck pattern and if I continue with the electronics on it'll it'll start at the beginning again. This was 12 rows of that one particular stitch pattern. Um, so if I go back across, you'll see it'll select the stitches again, the needles again, and now it's ready to start tucking again. <laughs> 